With this new approach that we have in paleoproteomics and helped by AlphaFold, we can now look at very big evolutionary questions, potentially going back to dinosaur times. In Australia, there are thousands and thousands of eggshells that are buried in the sand. These eggs were abundant for many thousand years, and then at some point, they disappeared. Because we're finding burn marks on some of these eggshells, this implies that the eggs have been processed and cooked, so it is possible that human consumption has contributed to the demise of the species. For a long time, these eggshells were identified as belonging to a very big extinct bird. The bird goes under a number of guises. Geniornis neutoni. It's often called a thunderbird. And then we have this great name, the demon duck of doom. So the thunderbird was a really large flightless bird, similar to an ostrich. And unlike an ostrich, it has a much larger head and a much larger beak. Would have been pretty terrifying to come across that late at night but they were kind of two different hypotheses. So one group wanted to believe that these eggshells belonged to this very large fossil of an extinct type of bird. Or the alternative was it was a much smaller bird. A much less impressive bush turkey. The eggshell was fairly thin and the egg itself would have not been too big either. The question was, what sort of bird then was laying these eggs? And there was a big controversy about this and we could solve it using paleoproteomics. So paleoproteomics is essentially the application of the study of modern proteins, but to ancient ones found in fossils. Our colleagues tried really, really hard to get DNA out of the eggshells. They were not successful. Because these are very old specimens and the climate is very hot and DNA degrades very quickly. Proteins are actually a much more compact form of information. You need one-sixth amount of molecules to give the same information in proteins and DNA. So it's small, compact, and therefore survives longer, about 10 times longer than DNA in most cases. So the way we went about this was to try and extract all the little bits of proteins that are preserved in the eggshell. We then put them together like in a jigsaw puzzle. We can then compare with modern bird sequences and work out where it fits in the bird family tree. We have the Bird 10,000 Genome Project, where we have the aim to sequence genomes for all living bird species. So we took the protein sequence and we compared it to our database of 363 birds. So we were doing our best to complete this jigsaw puzzle, and yet we couldn't quite decide which one was the most correct until we could actually look at the structure. So what we did is we took the sequence and we ran it through AlphaFold. Because we've been given all of these protein sequences from other birds, we could start adding in the missing parts of the protein to see how different bird variants would actually affect the overall structural folding of the protein. What we found out was that it was more likely that the eggs were laid by these, this very, very large, massive thunderbird. And what that meant is that the reason this bird goes extinct was because of the desire for people to eat the eggs. So AlphaFold was used to solve this big mystery. That was incredibly cool. <laughs> and I'm fairly sure this is the first time that AlphaFold has been used to study an extinct protein. We are being able now to start putting down the first very accurate strokes to this picture of the past, and AlphaFold is giving us a three-dimensional view of what that past might have looked like. AlphaFold made us think differently, in effect. 